is well served at Tinkers Farm School near Birmingham. There are 500 boys here, and the purpose of the school is well summed up in the words of Aristotle. We do not train boys to learning by force, but direct them to it by what amuses their minds, so that we may be the better able to discover the peculiar bent of each. In other words, part of the course is devoted to practical hobbies of the boys' own choosing. Some of these hobbies, like railway engineering and signalling, are designed to allow the boys to have the use of certain things which, in the ordinary way, they would not be able to have at home. The weaving class. The boys make all their own equipment and weave their own material on hand looms. It develops in them a liking for creating things, sound, practical things, and it gives them a sense of method, neatness and arrangement. With such determined weavers, there's never any shortage of the old school ties. Surveying is a popular hobby which might later on become a profession. They learn how to use the clinometer for measuring the angle of elevation. They also probe the secrets of the theodolite, the compass plane table and levelling pole. And the results of all these excursions are carefully recorded in the survey field book. Gardening is another favourite self-imposed task. The pergolas, crazy paving, fish pool and rockery, besides the actual digging and planting, are all the work of these keen lairs. Love of the sea is instinctive in a young Briton, and the boy shipbuilders fashion their fleet with all the pride of an island race. What was once a block of yellow pine is fast becoming a faster yacht. The hollowing follows the outside curve, leaving a shell a fraction of an inch thick. There are two ways of using a bow saw, but only one of them's the right way. The little ship is getting quite ship shape. The sails have been taped and eyeleted for rigging, and in a moment the yacht will be away for her maiden voyage. Yes, the young shipbuilders sail their own craft, and rivalry is keen, but the keenest of them all is the headmaster, Mr. Wright. <laughs> 